When you say Chicago, you have to think of the Bears. And that's where we find ourselves for our matchup between Tampa Bay and Chicago. Now we'll go to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the opening kickoff. Tom? With a beautiful day in the forecast, we'll get ready for today's game. Hi everyone, Tom Hammond here along with Chris Collinsworth. And this game is now underway. Davis from the one. Big hit there to bring him down. And we'll see how their offense has prepared for this matchup as they come onto the field for the first time. The Bears line up with two tight ends. Grossman calls for motion left. They'll throw on first down. Hits him square in the hands, but he fails to bring it in. Booker was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. A lot of playmakers on offense for Chicago. Here are just a few. Benson takes it right side. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line, about six yards on the play, and that makes it third down. The Buccaneers have a lot of standouts on defense. Let's take a look. He drops back to pass, and he caught it, and they get him at the 43-yard line. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man covering. Yeah, that's a great call, Tom, because when you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can, first of all, figure it out and then get it blocked, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. The halfback with the carry. He's dropped at the 47-yard line. That's four yards on the play, and that will bring up second down. Nickel defense. Back to throw. Throws on the run. It's broken up. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. They hand it off. He's brought down at midfield. That play was stuffed from the get-go. And it's not very often that I get really excited about defensive line play, but that time the guys up front on defense were just overpowering. Punts it. It'll go out at the 28. Here's a look at the key playmakers on the Buccaneers' offense. Big play, D. Why not, D? Why not, D? Crack, 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 D. Crack. Move up. Let's get that ball back. Here we go, D. Get out, get out. Go north and turn. Get out. Play action. Guns it to the middle. Just clanks right off his hand. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. On play action. He's going to run. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Pretty good coverage downfield, so he decided to pack it in. Picked up a handful in the process. Yeah, really not a bad play on that one to pull a ball down in that situation because now not only do you have to you know, think about maybe pulling somebody out of coverage or maybe just slow down that pass rush a little bit, but it plants a seed in the defense's mind. Pass the line. The defender gets him to the ground. Chalk up a big gain and a first down for the ball carrier on that one. Big play that time by a talented player. You can tell in those tough, clutch situations, he wants the ball in his hands. Fullback on the inside give. Brought down about the 43-yard line. They get two yards. That brings up second down. The Buccaneers come out with the offset eye. Garcia changes the play at the line. Get over 
Garcia will look to throw. And they're coming after him. Huge hit. A nice looking play that time. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. On play action, here's the pass, makes the catch. Tackled right around the 28-yard line. He put something extra on that throw, and it'll keep the chains moving. And that's really what it takes sometimes, because defenders are so quick out there. If you don't put a little extra pop on it, they can get there. Setting up play action. He scrambles away. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. Sets up the play action. He's there for the catch. Makes a move, and he's in. Touchdown! And that was a nice connection for the score. Just a great route that time. No way that he wasn't going to catch that football and score with that one. That was beautiful. Point after is good. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. The kick is away. Field it at the four. Dropped at the 24-yard line. They were forced to punt on their last drive. They'll start at the 24-yard line. Grossman lines up in the shotgun. He's looking to throw. Gets the pass away. What a hit! Good yardage that time on the pass. And that was a little hum baby coming out of there from the quarterback. We've all heard about how strong his arm is, and we saw it there. Chicago motions left. They'll throw on first down. Throws while on the run. Out of bounds, incomplete. They complete the pass, but he was out of bounds when he brought it in. Yeah, that's a pretty safe throw there where only the receiver can make a play on the ball just a little too wide on that one. He didn't get back to the line. Solid hit for the safety. He'll drop him for a loss. Well, you know you've got an aggressive safety when he's making tackles for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Typically, these guys are trying to not give up a big play in the passing game. Now, when you see somebody in the backfield, <laughs> that's impressive. Grossman set to go to the air. There for the catch. And they get him right around the 42-yard line. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. Grossman back to throw. Looking for an open man. Makes the catch. He's dropped at the 30. Good pickup by the receiver. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. Setting up play action. Looking for a receiver. Threw it right to him, but he can't hang on. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Drops back to pass. It's completed. He's tackled at the 14. 
The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Grossman hands off. He's brought down around the eight-yard line. Gain of a handful. That'll bring up second down. High formation here. And they use motion. Pitch out. He fumbled it. Defense falls on it. And the defense comes up with a big play there. Well, the number one rule for a halfback is you have to be able to hold on to the football. All the statistics show you turn it over and you're going to lose. The Buccaneers put a man in motion. Hands it to the back. He's dropped at the 14. The misdirection play gets a yard at the most. Single back formation. Gives it off. Brought down around the 21-yard line. They call his number, and he carries for six yards. They line up at the 21. Garcia is under center. Two tight ends in the formation. Garcia sends a man in motion. On the delay. And they get him around the 26-yard line. And it looks like he just barely got the first. Yeah, it's almost like he knew exactly where that first down marker was and just got enough for the first down. And the defense has a heavy rush. Tackled at the 31. Five-yard pickup on the play pass that time. Second down and five to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. The defense lines up in the nickel. Back to pass. He throws left. Makes the reception. Brought down at the 45. He shows no hesitation and gets it in there to get the first down. Yeah, you wouldn't hesitate either if you were standing back there in the pocket. I say the heck with it. Get it out of there fast. Let somebody else handle it for a little while. He'll get the call again. He's dropped at the 46-yard line. No gain, and that will bring up second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Only one man back. Drops back. Short throw to the left. Knocked out of bounds at the 45. Picked up 10 yards. So another third down upcoming for the offense. I don't think there's any question as to how this offense wants to pick up this first down. Again with the carry. He fights forward to about the 43. They're putting together a nice drive here. Yeah, and that's the second third down conversion of the drive. Defensively, those guys have been trying a lot of different looks and so far unable to come up with the right answer. Garcia hands it off. Hit and drop behind the line. What can they do to slow his pursuit down? So many times it's up to that backside blocker to get his guy on the ground and it sounds ugly but typically those guys are chopping at their knees and trying to knock them off their feet so there's some cutback lanes. Again he'll get the call. Brought down right around the 28 yard line. Not much of a problem getting first downs on this drive. Well, it's one of the oldest adages in all of football. If you can run the ball and play defense, you can win football games. Certainly, we now know that this team can run the football. Hey, 
throws it short, makes the grab, and they get him at the 25. Short pattern results in a completion for the offense. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. They tackle him for a loss. The offense had a tough time picking up all their blocks on that play. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense's big men, they won the battle. Looks down the field. He's running out of time. Batted away. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. The set down. The kick is up. It's got the distance. First and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Tosses it out. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. Second down and a half yard. Ball on the 44. They'll work from the shotgun. Here we go. Wait, 20. Grossman set to go to the air. Deflected and broken up. The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. Play fake. Short pass to his left. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. Hilliard will be the return man. He punts it. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 35. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. They run a counter. He lost yardage on the play. Disappointing loss there for the offense. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm, but... When a defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. He fakes it. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Proof was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. They line up at the 33. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Back to throw. Guns it out. Catch is made. And he's drilled at the 41-yard line. Despite the great effort, it will still bring up fourth. Bidwell is the punter. Bidwell kicks it away. And did he ever get a hold of this one? From the 15. He's brought down right around the 20-yard line. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. They'll get the ball here at the 21. First and 10. Benson takes the handoff. He fights forward to about the 23. Benson comes away with two yards on the carry from their own 23-yard line. Grossman lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, spread out. Touch. Go. Goes through his read. It's incomplete. Oh, Bennett was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. Third down. They line up at the 23. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Looking to throw. Looks for a man open. Jackson knocks it away. So the offense will probably head off the field after failing to convert for a first down on that series. Well, you're going to have to gather the troops over on the sideline because whether it was poor play calling or poor execution, they never got anything going that time. He punts it. Hilliard takes it at the 36. He got everything he could, but there really wasn't much there. Yeah, he really didn't have much of a chance at all to make anything happen there. I, mean, I, I know this guy's a dangerous punt return guy, but you can't do it on your own. Tampa Bay using an audible. Drops back. Dumps it out left. Brought down around the 44-yard line. That's a seven-yard gain. Little seven-yard throws like that have really become the staple of the National Football League. So many defenses now not allowing the big throws down the field. You have to be willing to take throws just like that. And they get him at the 50. It looked like the defense got caught a little off guard by the fullback getting the ball. Fullbacks pounding the ball up the middle has become a lost art in the National Football League. But when you see how it can gouge a defense and pick up a first down, it makes that offensive coordinator want to think about him a little more often. Rockets it out. He dropped it, and the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. Tampa Bay finds up in the offset eye this time. They're going to pitch it. He doesn't get back to the line. A great defensive effort there. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. They line up at the 49. The Bears bring in their quarter defensive package. He drops back, throws right. It's tipped away. We'll probably see the punt unit here as that incompletion brings up fourth down. Hester is back deep to return. Here's the kick. He got some distance on it. Into the end zone for a touchback. The defense played exceptionally well the last time this offense had the ball. The Buccaneers line up with six defensive backs. Play action. Short throw to the right. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. He went to the short man, but the defense was right there to make the play. Yeah, and this is one of those plays that's a lot like a long, extended handoff. He gets it out to the receiver and just lets him work on the outside. That time, though, unable to pick up much yardage. Grossman hands it off straight ahead. The interior defensive lineman got off the ball very well on that. You know, and typically that works for the offensive line because they're trying to simulate a pass set, allow those guys to get into their rush lanes and simply push them past the ball carrier. That time they pushed them right into the ball carrier. Dumps it out right. Tackled at the 30. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. Gets the punt away. Hilliard fields it at the 29. 
And that return should set this offense up nicely. He did a good job there finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that can really go right. They'll give it off here. And he just got hammered. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Second and nine coming up here. Garcia lines up in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. He throws it. He's dropped around the 48-yard line. The defense was looking run, and they threw it for a big game. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play-action pass opened it up down the field. Gives to the back. He's dropped for a loss. The defense got the job done on that one. Really impressive play that time by this defensive line. It wasn't just one guy, but every guy up front just dominating their guy at the point of attack. Garcia hands off. Brought down at the 49-yard line. That's a gain of five, and so it'll be third down. It's third down, seven yards to go. Garcia is in the shotgun. He has three receivers split out wide. Nice play fake. Is there for the catch. Tackled at the 37. A nice completion to the tight end. Always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies. You know, just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. Back to pass. And they're coming after him. He couldn't hang on to it. Smith wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. They line up at the 37. Access to the priority parking lot. The defense sets up in the nickel. And much more. Galloway moves in motion. Tiger, Tiger. He drops back to pass. He's going to take off. He's brought down at the 29-yard line. He scrambles there for about eight yards. Third down and two. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Graham lines up as the deep back. I formation. Troop takes off to the right side. Play action. Looking for an open man. Scrambles for yardage. So the quarterback scrambles for about a yard. Bryant can make it a two-score game. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And it splits the uprights. And he put that one through nicely. It's a pretty rare kicker that can kick a ball that far with that kind of accuracy that was just a cannon shot he kicks it off davis from the six hit and dropped at the 32 yard line let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive single set backfield Little handoff. He's tackled right around the 34-yard line. That's four yards on the play. That brings up second down. Three. No, make that four wide receiver formation. He drops back with the pass, with the catch. And they get him around the 45-yard line. And that pass was moved. Yeah, and it's not that quarterbacks without strong arms can't make it in this league. But boy, it sure is an asset to have a guy with a cannon like that. Back to throw. Surveys the field. And he catches another. 
Brought down at the 34. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did, and when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. Benson gets another handoff. Hit hard at the 34-yard line. The defensive line sniffed that play out beautifully. Yeah, and defensive linemen aren't the big fat guys that they used to be. These guys are athletes. They can move, and if you don't fool them on the delay, they're going to be standing right there in the face of the running back. On play action, and he catches it. Tackled at the 25. Nothing wrong with that pass. It goes for a good game. You know, and when you talk to some of these receivers, they say the real strength of this quarterback is that he throws a very, very catchable ball. Setting up play action. They get to him. They got him with a blitz that time. This is one of those defensive coordinators who's known for his exotic blitz packages. He could blitz any time, any down, any point in the game, if you're a quarterback, you usually don't sleep too well before you play against this guy. He gets it away. And it goes out of the end zone for the touchback. The offense was only able to muster a field goal on their last drive. We'll see what they do with this possession. Garcia is in the gun. Three wide receivers this time. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. That defensive lineman just seems to have a knack for finding the ball carrier. You know, listen, I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, I, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in their way. He's brought down right around the 20-yard line. Graham gains around two yards there on the delay. The Bears bring in the nickel packing. Garcia will look to throw. Passes to his left. And he dropped him in the open field. The defense was right there to bring him down just about as soon as he made the catch on that one. Clever play that time defensively. It looked like he was going to be open quickly for the catch and the first down. They closed in, made the tackle, and that brings up fourth down. He gets it away. Esker fields it at the 34. Brought down around the 39-yard line. Seems like the coverage broke down a bit on that one. I thought they had him pretty well contained on that play, but he did find a small crack in the coverage, got it up the field. They were lucky they got hold of him. He could have broken that one off. Play action. Got to him just as he released it. And they get him at the 41-yard line. Short completion there. It doesn't give them much in terms of yardage that time. Well, the defense forced them to make the quick read and throw on that one. The catch was made, but there wasn't much yardage to go along with it. It's up to the receiver to make something happen on a play like that. Tackled at the 46-yard line. They pick up a good six yards there. That'll bring up third down. Benson alone in the backfield. Toss. Dropped behind the line. The defense was ready on that series, and they had all the answers for what the offense tried to do. And that's a humbling experience for any offense. When you go out there and have those three and out series, you just go back to the sideline a little embarrassed, and the defense, they're upset. Maynard punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. He fields the punt at the 16. Cuts back, and he's dropped. I'm sure they would have liked to have gotten a little better return out of him there. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. He drops back. Looking for a receiver. Throws it short. 
tipped pass. Smith was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 19. The Buccaneers line up with an offset eye backfield. They'll work the left side. Brought down at the 24-yard line. They get around five yards from the halfback. Tampa Bay lines up in a double tight set. The rush gets there and he goes down. So I have to ask, what happened on this play? You know, it's difficult for an offense and an offense's ego to admit that you can't block somebody. But there are certain guys in the league that you just have to commit more people to block and, and don't let it bother you. You've got to protect your quarterback. Here's the kick. He got some distance on it. Hester fields it at the 40. And they get him at the 40. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you but this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. One man backfield. Here's the halfback. He makes his way to about the 32. They go with a run and that'll be a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. They line up in an eye. Tackle at the 22. So that was a pickup of about nine. Chicago comes out with two tight ends. Setting up play action. Throws into coverage and it's intercepted. And that was a poor decision on the part of the quarterback. And I still don't know why he made that throw. I mean, the coverage was there. There was absolutely no spot to put that ball. And he threw it anyway. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He's brought down at about the 21. Graham gets about four yards on the play. It's second down, six to go. Chicago brings in the nickel here. Fakes the run. Knocked down. He tried to force that one in. He's one of those quarterbacks who trusts his arm maybe a little bit too much. He should have never thrown that ball. Garcia drops back to pass. The quarterback is dropped. And that was a huge rush he was facing. I'm not sure there was much he could do there. I'm not even sure he saw those guys coming. I'll tell you what, though. If they don't start doing a better job protecting up front, it's going to be a long day for this quarterback. Punts it. Hester fields it at the 41. And they get him at the 49-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. The Bears come out in a single back formation. Here's the give. Brought down right around the 42 yard line. They gain five yards there. That'll bring up second down. Second down and five. Ball on the 43-yard line. Chicago goes with the ace set here. Nice play fake. Brings it in. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the 34. 
quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Everybody knows about this guy's arm strength, and if you wanted to see an example of it, right there it was. They'll keep it on the ground again. He fights forward to about the 33. A pickup of a yard for the halfback. Nickel back in this time. Here we go, Roger. Wait 20. Wait 20. Hands it to the back. And he will lose yardage on the play. That was a big time play by a big time athlete. If you want to be considered one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover. But the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. Reload, reload. Let's go. Come on, guys. Three, two, Wait, 20. Wait, 20. Let's go. We're up. Looks to pass. Looks down the field. Gets rid of the ball. It just slips out of his hands. Good job by the defender to knock the ball out of there. And that was a good shot as a receiver. You've got to know you're going to take some hits. You just have to hold on to that ball. Maynard is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. And this one will go for a touchback. The offense takes the field, hoping to put something together after their last drive ended in a three and out. He's looking to throw. Throws to the middle. He's dropped at the 39-yard line. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. Looks to pass. He throws on the run. Brought down at the 42. Smith gets him about three yards on that completion. It's second down and seven to go. They'll line up with six defensive backs. He drops back. Sack! The Buccaneers just took their first timeout. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 40. Tampa Bay lines up with three receivers. He drops back to pass. Goes through his read. Deflected and broken up. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Gets it away cleanly. Hester fields it at the 22. He tries to spin, and he is dropped. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. Out of the shotgun. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. Stay inside right here. Watch the bank. Watch the bank. Kick 300. Kick 300. Back to pass. He's scrambling. There for the reception. And they get him around the 32-yard line. Hester picks up about three with a catch. Chicago comes out with three receivers in the shotgun. Grossman drops to throw. Looks for a man open. He steps out right around the 34-yard line. The defense was right there for the stop on the play. Not much of a gain at all. Yeah, let's give a little credit to the coaching staff on that play. You, you talk all the time about film study and preparation and knowing what the other team is trying to do to you. That time the defense was all over it. Passes it. It's tipped and intercepted. Inside the 30 to the 20. And what a run after the huge catch. The defense finally brought him down at the 7. Tampa Bay is about to extend the lead to three scores. They line up in the I formation. Ball, 
Little handoff. Gets in for the touchdown. How about that little juke in the middle of that move? That's just a one-on-one -on -one athletic play that time. That was fun to watch. So they're ready for the extra point. Extra point is good. Here's the kick. He's hammered at the 29-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time, and it led to an interception. They'll go from the I formation. Benson on the give. He's dropped around the 39-yard line. Picked up 10 yards. They'll go from the I formation. Back to throw. Under heavy pressure. Batted away. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. Chicago in a four-wide set. He's looking to throw. Throws it short. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. An impressive showing by the wideout in the first half. He's already gone over 100 yards receiving. Not a lot of mystery to this offense, is there? They're going to get it to this wide receiver. They know what he's capable of doing. And there is some great communication going on, verbal and nonverbal, between the quarterback and the receiver out here in the first half. And as we head to halftime, the score is 17-0. And here's the kick. Taken at the five. Dropped at the 32-yard line. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. The Buccaneers use motion. Looks to pass. And the defense has a heavy rush. Brown gets the interception. Brought down around the 40-yard line. The pressure definitely got to the quarterback there because that pass was not on target. With the zone coverage back there, I'm sure he wasn't expecting that kind of quick pressure. It got to him, and he made a big mistake. Throws out to the right. He's brought down at the 29-yard line. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Grossman calls for motion left. Here's the halfback. Brought down behind the line. Nice job by the defensive end to get in there and get the tackle for the loss. This guy's really one of the strengths on this defense. Not only is he able to turn the corner and get some pressure on the quarterback, but he's rock solid against the run. Looking to throw. Passes. And it's completed. And they get him at the 20-yard line. They hook up for a pretty good gain on that one. Nice pass. Yeah, good pass and good confidence by the quarterback there. He saw the opening. He knew there was a spot that he could get that in there. But you could see he had the confidence to let this receiver make a play. And that's really what pro football is all about. Setting up play action. Pass is complete. Open field ahead. He's dropped around the 13-yard line. McKee will pick up a first down on the play with the six-yard reception. Now we're starting to see this offense get in a nice little rhythm. The quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. They look sharp. 
play action. Short throw to the right. Brought down at the nine. Gain of four on that play action pass. The offense will line up at the nine here. The Bears line up with three wide. They're going to pitch it. He's hammered in the backfield. Look it to the outside, but it leads nowhere. Sweeps are plays that you see a lot more of in college football than you do in the National Football League because everybody in the NFL is so fast. In high school, in college, yeah, maybe you get it out around the corner. In the pros, tough to do. Grossman drops back. He's running out of time. And he should have had that one. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. It's good. He makes that one pretty easily and puts it through for three points. Not a bad kick. He'll return it from the three. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. It'll be interesting to see how this quarterback reacts after throwing an interception on his last drive. They'll take over at the 33-yard line. Let's go now. Let's go. The Buccaneers come out in the ace formation. Garcia to the air on first down. Should have had that when he was wide open. Graham was the intended receiver, and he can't bring it in. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Graham is the single setback. The Buccaneers put a man in motion to the right. Garcia will throw. No, they hand it off. He's brought down around the 35-yard line. The delay gets maybe two yards. They'll need eight here. Ball on their own 35. Chicago lines up in a dime defense here. He drops back. On the run, he throws it. He's dropped at about the 37-yard line. Well, the pass was completed, they'll still be short of the marker. You know, I just don't like that stuff, Tom. I, I call that chicken offense. You know, you go out there and you, you act like you're afraid. You're afraid to throw an interception. You're afraid to, to go for it down the field. You just settle and you bring the punter out. I, I don't like that. Gets the punt away. Hester takes it at the 23. Brought down around the 38-yard line. What happened to the coverage there, Chris? Oh, come on. They completely lost containment on that guy. I mean, you just can't let that happen. I'll be honest. They were really lucky they didn't give up a touchdown on that one. They hand it off. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. Second down, 10 yards to go. The Bears come out in the ace formation. Tosses it out. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. He couldn't get anywhere on that one. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. Looks to pass. Throws on the run. Pass completed. And they finally knock him out at the 38. They get a nice gain there. And what do you do when you're trying to cover a guy with that kind of speed? You have to back off of him. You have to respect his speed. And then he can do just about anything to you.
First and 10, ball on the 38. One man backfield. Tackle at the 36 yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. It's second down and nine to go. Chicago comes out with three receivers in the shotgun. Grossman sends a man in motion. On play action. Brings this one in. He's tackled at the 20. And a pretty smart play call right there. It really is so much the key to the football. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why you establish the run and then you come with the play action pass. Just so hard to defend. Nice play fake. Short throw to the left. He's in for the score. Now we're down to just the one possession game and things will get interesting from here. They'll look to tack on the extra point. The kick is up. It's good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. He kicks it. Clayton fields it at the goal line. They get him at the 29-yard line. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. They line up with one running back in the backfield, three wide. Drops back on first down. Looking for a receiver. The pass rush got him. What can they do to stop the bleeding here, Chris? They have brought him down four times now. This defense has been getting consistent pressure throughout Right now, they're just beating them to the punch. They're a little quicker off the ball, a little stronger at the point of impact. Back to pass. Looking for an open man. Hit him in the hands, but he can't hang on. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Back to throw. He throws right. He's dropped around the 38-yard line. They complete the pass on third and long, but they'll end up short of the marker. You can see the confidence level of this defense. They know they can make open field tackles, and that's probably one of the great lost arts in the game. The ability to make the tackle in the open field and stop them short of the first down. Good play defensively there. Here's the kick. He got some distance on it. Hester takes it at the 21. What a shot! The offense lines up and is looking to score again after a successful trip to the end zone on their last drive. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Drops back. Throws it out. He's brought down at the 36-yard line. Pretty good gain right there. You have so many people on this offense that you have to account for. The tight ends, the wide receivers, the running backs, even the quarterbacks. And now they're throwing to the fullback? That's almost not fair. Wait, 20. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 20. close left. Game, 22 pressure. Game, fans. Grossman looking to throw on first down. 
Grossman can't escape the pressure. It seems these days being a defensive end isn't just all about trying to run your blocker over to get to the quarterback. Yeah, you see more and more of these guys that are a little undersized for defensive linemen, but they make up for that size and bulk with great speed and agility. If they can turn the corner, they can really make a difference in a game. Grossman takes it back, dumps it out right. He is hit hard on the play. Pretty nice throw on that play. And a pretty good catch on the other end, too. That's one of those plays that's quickly becoming one of the staples in this offensive passing attack. Back to throw. Throws to his right. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. That pass put him over 300 yards for the game. And what's really impressed me has been his accuracy. He's been squeezing the ball into some tight situations all game. His accuracy has just been tremendous. Benson gets the ball left side. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. A nice job of the running back as they pick up a gain of eight. Two yards away here on second down. They line this one up in shotgun. Four wide receivers are split out in the formation. Looks to pass. Throws it short. Khalid has the pick. He makes the tackle and he had nothing but green grass in front of him. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever, but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. Nine-yard pickup on the pass. Second and short coming up here. One man in the backfield. Garcia gives it up the middle. He fights forward to about the 19. And he did a good job there to get the first. I know those runs aren't exactly the kind you see on the highlight shows, but you're keeping the drive alive, maintaining possession, and picking up first downs. Garcia with a play fake. Garcia will be sacked. Perfect time to bring extra rushers on the blitz that time. You know, we talk about timing on offense all the time, but when you play against this defensive coordinator, he is going to consistently throw your offense off balance because of all the blitzes he's going to throw at him. You have to anticipate blitz on every snap when you play against this guy. Tackled at the 11. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play. Yeah, really a nice route that time. One of the keys to playing wide receiver is the ability to not only get into cuts, but to get out of the cuts. That time, very explosive coming out of that cut, and it made the difference. He throws left. Incomplete. No connection this time. Smith wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. Tampa Bay can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He's got it. Pretty good kick that time, and he drives it home for three points. Nice job. Kicks it off. He'll take it from the two. Brought down at the 33. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team. Throwing another one would be disastrous to this offense. Hands it to the back. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. The Bears come out in a single back formation. Setting up play action. Completed. 
and they get him at about the 47-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with the wideout. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Play action. Looks for a man open. And it's caught. He's tackled at the 42. Pretty nice pickup on the pass that time. And that's simply good design and execution on the pattern. They work hard all week in practice to make sure that on game day, they have that timing down perfectly. Sets up the play action. Into traffic, and it's picked off. Nice pick for the safety. You could see the quarterback that time trying to look the safety off, but this safety is simply too smart. He was having none of it and jumped in front to make the interception. The Buccaneers come out in a single back formation. Garcia gives it up the middle. He's brought down at the 32-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. Garcia is lined up under center. I formation this time. He fakes it. In and out of his hands. The defender got there in time to break that play up. He did. He was able to get his hands on the ball. But if he had missed that one, that one might have turned into a really big play. Back to pass. Guns it right. And the defender intercepts it. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. It's amazing how much quicker defensive backs look to me on the field today than, say, 20, 25 years ago when I played. I think it was 25 years ago. It feels like about 105 years ago. But they have some great athletes out there right now. It's first and 10, ball on the 27. Chicago goes with the ace set here. The Bears motion to the right side. They go with the toss. And he's hammered at the 29 yard line. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Wow, did you see the hit on that play? That's one of those you kind of stagger back to the huddle and you talk to the quarterback and you say, how about a pass on this one? He drops back. Throws right. It's picked off. And I'm sure he'll try to erase this game from his mind as quickly as possible. Yeah, what do you do on the computer, that Control-Alt-Delete to go back to the beginning? I think he'd like to Control-Alt-Delete this game. Play fake. Throws wild on the run. And they get him right around the 38-yard line. And simply a great throw there. Yeah, that really was a nice touch that time. Perfect uh, sort of combination of velocity and touch. A very catchable ball thrown by this quarterback so that you don't have to overly focus on what you're doing and you can get your eyes back down the field, try and get a good run after the catch. Rifles it out there. Erlocker picks it off. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Great catch by the linebacker. Not a smart throw from the quarterback. You know, it's hard to believe that you can lose a guy that big, but sometimes those linebackers dropping underneath in coverage, quarterbacks just don't see him, and he threw it right to him. They're going to pitch it. He took a shot at the 46-yard line. So the halfback scampers for six on the toss. Tampa Bay lines up with five defensive backs. Back to throw. Looks down the field. Not much room to throw into, and it's intercepted. 
That last interception was his third on the day. Well, at least the coach doesn't have to worry about giving him a game ball. He already has three of them. Shotgun formation. They'll throw on first down. Goes through his read. Comes down with it. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. These days, you need a back who has good hands. Yeah, running backs today have to be really complete players. You mentioned the fact they have to be able to catch the football and make plays on the outside, but blocking is so key as well. You have to be able to do it all if you're going to be playing halfback in the NFL. So, at the end of three, the score is 20 to 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Garcia sends a man in motion. They hand it off. Hit and drop behind the line. Great penetration there. Yeah, if you're going to run a delay, you have to at least give your running back time to get the ball. That time, with all the penetration, they almost took the handoff. Graham gets another carry. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Tried the run, but there was nothing available. And if you could make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole, and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. He's brought down at about the 37-yard line. A lot of coaches would have tried to get the first here. Yeah, but you do gamble if you put the ball in the air in that situation. I think right now the coach is saying, I have more faith in my defense to make some stops than my offense to convert that play. He punts it. The ball will go into the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads his offense back onto the field after turning it over on their last drive. Grossman lines up under center, single back backfield this time. Pitch out. Brought down at the 27 yard line. He gained around seven yards there on the halfback toss. The Buccaneers line up with a nickelback. Looks to pass. With the hard throw out to his right. Dropped behind the line. Nothing doing on that play. So that'll make it third down. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. And they'll try and get the first through the air. And he caught it. Tackle around the 43-yard line. And a nice pick up there. Nice play that time. The defense came with the blitz there. He made a good read, delivered a nice ball in there to the open man. Nickel defense. With the pass. Makes the catch. He's dropped around the 42-yard line. My goodness, he's playing at a far superior level than anyone else on the field right now. That is his 200th receiving yard of the game. And there are ways that you can take a single receiver out of the game. The problem is this offense has too many other weapons, so they can't really just focus in on this receiver. Nice play fake. They get to the QB. That was an excellent play by the defensive end. Man, that guy has a great jump off the ball. In the league now, we are seeing some of the best athletes in all football play in the defensive end position. And if you can't get them blocked, you're going to have to start thinking about chipping them with a the back or putting a tight end over there. Grossman hasn't missed yet. Passes it out. 
fails to connect with the pass. Booker was the intended receiver on the play and it falls incomplete. Third and long here. They'll be forced to convert on third down once again if they hope to keep this drive going. Grossman set to go to the air. He catches another. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. That ball was thrown into tight coverage. This guy doesn't care. He'll throw it into anywhere. Plus, he knows that he throws the ball so hard, there's not a defensive back out there that could catch it. If they could, they'd be playing wide out. Play action. Throws it short. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. He caught that one out of bounds. Well, you could see the receiver doing all he could to keep his feet in bounds, but that pass just let him out of bounds. He drops back to pass. Makes the throw over the middle. Brought down around the 14-yard line. That one worked just as they drew it up. Good pass, good catch, I agree. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do as a defense to stop a well-executed pass play. Back to throw. Scans the field. Dropped an easy one. Oh my, the quarterback is lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Yeah, you try and fit some of those into some tight holes and every once in a while, you're gonna get one pick, but that was a pretty good play by the defense. They go with the toss. He's dropped for a loss. His cornerback did a nice job recognizing the play and getting in there for the stop. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. Back to pass. Throws short. Tackled at about the 11. He's putting on a show out there. How's he doing it, Chris? Well, one of the things I really like to watch with this guy is the way he goes through his progressions. He doesn't just get fixated on one receiver. He will go to the first guy, not there, go to the second, not there, go to the check down. That's what you like to see out of a quarterback. And he makes it. He put that one right through the upright. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Decent kick. Spurlock from the four. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. They were forced to punt on their last drive. The offense will start at the 28-yard line. First and ten. Only one man back. On the delay. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. Graham picks up two yards with the carry. Chicago brings in the nickel here. He's looking to throw. Passes right. How can you drop that? An excellent job by the defense of disrupting that last play. And that was really on the wide receiver. Not much of a route, very little separation, and gave the defense a chance to make that play. Back to throw. He throws it. Off target pass. Galloway was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. So, it's fourth down. The Buccaneers ready to punt this one away. He gets it away. Hester fields it at the 29. He's brought down at the 33. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, that certainly wasn't one of his best efforts there. Maybe if he would have gotten a little more help from his blockers, he could have broken one out of there. You know, sometimes it just takes one good block to create a seam to get one up the field. Benson gets it on the inside. 
What a hit. I don't think he even saw that guy. They get five yards on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second down and five to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Bears come out with the offset eye. He drops back to pass. He throws on the run. Brought down at the 49-yard line. Nice pass play. It really was in the 80s that we first started seeing offenses throwing the ball to the fullback. You know, for so many years, those guys were just big blockers. Hands it to the back. Brought down behind the line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Second down now, 12 to go. Ball on the 47. It's the tailback. And he will lose yardage on the play. No one picked up the linebacker, and it cost them. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Back to pass. The pocket is collapsing. Proops gets the loose ball. Well, that was a lucky bounce for the offense, Chris. They were right there to pick it up after he put it on the ground. And you really said it right, because after all the game planning, after all the work that goes into a week, how many games are decided by a lucky bounce one way or another? That was good fortune for this offense. Punts it. Hilliard takes it at the 21. He's dropped at the 36-yard line. And that was a nice little punt return there. Wow, I thought he was gone for a second. They did a good job getting to him, at least preventing the touchdown. Of course, they wouldn't have to chase him down like that if they'd have done a better job covering the punt. They'll give it off here. He's brought down at the 40. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Second down, six yards to go. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Again with the carry. He's hammered in the backfield. The defense seemed to do everything right there. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. What happened on that series, Chris? The defense was good and the offense stunk, Tom. What else you need to know? Bidwell to punt. Gets it away cleanly. Hester takes it at the 23. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. Boy, he hardly had any room to do anything there. They've got to come up with a better scheme or some better blockers or something. This guy's a good punt returner. He's just not getting any help at all from his teammates. A little misdirection. He lost yardage on the play, and he'll lose yards on the counter. The counter is one of those calls that we're seeing less and less of in the National Football League for the reason you just saw that penetration by a good defensive line or speed at the linebacker position can really shut that play down. It's the tailback. He's tackled at the 23-yard line, and he picks up about four, and that makes it third down. They'll go from the I formation. Grossman dropping back. Fires it out. He's there for the catch. Nice pass, but not enough for the first. That'll bring up fourth down. Pretty nice play that time. They picked up some good yardage, but they lost the battle on first and second down and left themselves in third and long. Just too much to overcome.
He gets it away. Makes the fair catch. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. Tampa Bay lines up in the offset eye this time. Fullback straight ahead. He fights forward to about the 29. Maybe a yard. That brings up second down. Garcia comes to the line under center. Two backs in the eye. Throws middle. He's dropped around the 44-yard line. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. It's one of the dangers. You bring those extra defenders trying to get after the quarterback, and you're going to leave some man coverage on the outside. That time, the quarterback able to take advantage. Little handoff. And they get him right around the 46-yard line. That's a three-yard game. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short game. Garcia is in the gun. He has four receivers. Back to pass. Gets it off. He got deep cleated. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a little tighter. Maybe even go to man coverage. Yeah, it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback. He does a great job in recognition, and that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there. He fights forward to about the 40. The running back gets about a yard, maybe less. They line up at the 40. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Setting up play action. There for the catch. And he's knocked out around the 25-yard line. A good play fake that time. It really was. I didn't see it. I thought it was a run play. He pulled it out of there and came up with a nice game. Nice play fake. Knocked loose. Poop was the intended target on that incomplete pass attempt. These items must be used so they'll face a second and ten. Be considerate of neighboring fans. Eye formation here. Or handheld televisions. He's brought down at the 22. A gain of three yards. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. Ask you again. He's tackled right around the 14-yard line. The fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. Fourth down. The kicking team will line up for this one. This try from 32 yards away. Two minutes left in the ball game. They'll line it up for the field goal. This will be a 32-yard attempt. Kick is up. He's got it. And that will make a two-possession lead. Just a huge kick in the ball game to go from a one-possession lead to a two-possession lead this late in the ball game, huge kick, really looks good for his team now. He'll return it from the one. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. At this point, I think this game looks like it's pretty much out of reach. Well, it's only a two-possession game, so these guys won't give up. I suppose a quick score, an onside kick, another score, everything's a possibility here. We've seen some strange things happen in the league. First down, looking to throw. It's completed. What a brutal hit. Talk about a throw. Yeah, you don't have to worry about one like that being intercepted. Nobody on the defensive side could have caught that bullet. They're calling an audible. Let's go left. Left. 
Drops back on first down. Throws a bullet. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. And he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defender. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. He's looking to throw. Short throw to the left. Steps out at the 49-yard line. It's completed, but the defense appeared to be waiting for it. Not much there at all. That's part speed and part anticipation by this defensive unit. They're always in great position, and you'll rarely see them get burned on passes like that. Grossman will look to throw. The pass is away. Makes the reception. He's brought down at the 22-yard line. They got burnt on the blitz that time. Yeah, I'll be anxious to see how soon they come back with the blitz. They got barbecued on that one. You better disguise that blitz a little better than that if you're going to beat this quarterback. Back to throw. Gets the pass off. He's dropped at the 15. He delivered a nice throw on that drop back, completing it for a pretty good game. You know, there aren't many guys who work any harder than this guy, both in the offseason and during the week of practice. He isn't the most physically gifted quarterback I've ever seen, but you can tell the time he puts in in the film room, in the weight room, and he understands the game of football. They get the score, but I'm thinking it might have been just a little too late. Well, one of the problems was they got the score, but it took them a long time to get it. Now they have just a few precious seconds left in this one. The draw within a field goal. And the point after is good. And here's your drive summary for that last series. They will line up for the onside kick, and it's simply this. They don't recover. This game is over. Onside kick. And he gets brought down hard. They decide to go for the onside, but they can't recover. Well, that's really going to hurt their chances now, especially if they can take this good field position and turn it into points. Galloway takes off to the left side. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Nice stop on that play. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive, the pursuit to the ball. They were all coming there. And they motion a guy to the right. Makes the run. Makes the grab. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Strong, accurate throw leads to a pretty good game. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. On the ground with a tailback. They tackle him for a loss. That cornerback just made this offense look bad. One of the tough things about trying to get a cornerback block is how athletic those guys are. If you're a fullback or an offensive lineman or somebody out in front trying to make that block, it's just tough to get a hand on those guys. They're quick. Kicks it off from his own goal line. Drill at the 29-yard line. This is not an easy situation to have to take over with practically no time left on the clock. We're getting pretty close to the time now. You have to start thinking about taking some shots at the end zone, hoping one of your great players makes a great play. Back to throw. Not much time to throw. The defender got to him just as he threw the ball. And even though that one doesn't go down as a sack, that's one of those that the quarterback remembers and probably rushes him just a little bit on the next throw. Drops back. He throws a bullet out to his left. Brought down at the 44-yard line. 
Not a bad pickup that time. Yeah, the defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback, and they paid a price. He got it out of there, picked up a nice game. Going deep with this one, left side. That tackle just sealed the deal. And this has been a good one. Our final score is the Buccaneers 26, the Bears 20.